James Howlett, a.k.a. Logan, was born in the northern Canada in 1832, and he died in 2029 at the age of 197 in the hand of another clone like him. Logan had been through a lot of miseries in his life even until he took his last breath, and that also includes a lot of betrayals from the people he trusted a lot. In the 2009 X-Men Origins, he resigned from the X-Team, which was led by Colonel Stryker. After six years, he was shown to be living in the Canadian Rockies with a school teacher named Kayla. Logan was in love with this girl, but this woman turned out to be a traitor. She was actually sent by Colonel Stryker to keep an eye on Logan. She eventually faked her death with the help of Victor Creed and made Logan believe that she was killed by Victor. Colonel Stryker then tells Logan that he can fuse adamantium into the bones of Logan to improve the damaging ability of his claws so that Logan can take his revenge on his brother, Victor Creed. In the end of the movie, Logan goes to the Three Mile Island only to find out that the death of Kayla was not real and his elder brother, Victor Creed, was also involved in this betrayal. Colonel Stryker just wanted to make Logan put adamantium into his bone to make the project of Weapon X successful. If Logan survives the operation, Stryker will begin his next project, which was Weapon 11, aka the Deadpool. By the way, he is not the same Deadpool we have seen in the recent movies. In the 2013 The Wolverine movie, it was portrayed that Logan saved the life of a prison guard named Yashida during the 1945 bomb over Nagasaki. After many years, Logan was living in the woods in the northern Canada in 2013 and that's when a Japanese girl named Yukio came to see him. She tells Logan that Yashida is still alive and he wants to say goodbye to Logan for the last time. After a lot of convincing, Logan agrees to go with her to Japan to see the old man. A lot of things happen in between the movie to eliminate Mariko who is the granddaughter of Yashida and the new CEO of the Yashida Industries. Ironically, in the end of the movie, Logan finds out that Mr. Yashida faked his death to cause a series of events that would eventually drag Logan to the Yashida castle where he was testing with his adamantium suit. This bloody old man just wanted to take away the bone marrow of Logan to generate healing capability within his own body. He wanted to live for eternity to uphold the prestige of Yashida Industries, although he died in the hand of his own granddaughter in the end of the movie. Sabretooth? What do they call you? Wheels? Thank <laughs> you.